Hi, it's Dorothy Guining with Scrapbooking Quebec. In this video, I'm going to share some layouts and projects I created in March 2024. The layouts I created for my power scrapping series will come in a later video, sometime in April. Today I'm going to share 13 12 by 12 pages along with a mini mixed media project. Before starting, I do want to mention a few things. There are process videos for some of these layouts, so they will be listed and linked below. Throughout the share, sometimes I'm going to put one layout on the table, then the coordinating page. These are double page spreads that started with a single page layout, then I stretched it. And at the end of this video, there will be still shots, so you will get a second look at all of these layouts. So without further ado, let's get started. The first seven pages I created with the Mercy Tiara Kits March 2024 release, which was called Dream Big. This kit included a few different new springy American crafts collections, including Poppy and Pear, Cool Girl, and Rainbow Avenue. I created this page on YouTube, so it is listed and linked below. The papers here were mostly, I believe, from the Cool Girl, the Pebbles Cool Girl collection, but I definitely included embellishments from the two other collections. These three collections that were brought together in this one kit really coordinated very, very nicely together. It was a great, great sampling. Here is the coordinating page I created to go with it, a very simple four block grid. So I just brought over a piece of charcoal cardstock, added some of this bright, colorful purple floral paper here, and I created one embellishment cluster which created a visual triangle across the two pages. You can see them right here. The next two pages I'm going to show you also, I created them on YouTube. This is a double page spread. It was sketch inspired. I don't have the sketch beside me. It was a creative scrapper sketch that was exclusively created for the Mercy Tierra kits. And what I did was I stretched it into a double page spread. So basically you can see I have all of these blocks that go across the two pages and it just formed a nice border across the top. And then I kind of mimicked those squares at the bottom. Again, the jumping off point was definitely my sketch. That sketch is on the Facebook group Mercy Tierra Kits. So that will be linked in the description box below. So yeah, anyway, so that was pretty easy. A lot of this material is from Poppy and Pear from what I can see here. And I think those embellishments here, that is from, uh, that would be from the Rainbow Avenue. Anyway, yeah, it's totally a mix, but most of the paper comes from the Poppy and Pear collection. This one I just created it as a single page layout and this one I did do it on YouTube so that is listed and linked below as well. In this one I used some mixed media paints. I used some semi watercolor paints, whatever that means. I'm not a mixed media person. These were in the mixed media add-on for the Mercy Tierra kits for the month of March. And basically what I did in that video was I quite simply painted up some cardstock and then punched it out to create my embellishments. And I don't know if you can see that there, but there are these metallic reflections in the paint. They're really, really pretty when you look at them nice and closely. And finally, I created two more pages with the Mercy Tierra kits. I started with this one here. I created it as a single page layout. And yeah, pretty simple, just a border of photos and a border at the bottom. I had fun with that design. And here is the coordinating page. So this was actually kind of different for me. I felt strange using this kind of light craft or beige cardstock on this page. These are heritage layouts. 
But in the end, even though it looked very different for me, I do quite like the layout, so it was fun. Um, this paper was in the cardstock add-on for the Mercy Tierra kits. Again, like I mentioned, I'm used to using white cardstock, but I thought, what the heck, I will use what's there. And I actually quite like it, even though it's very, very different for me. There's one other thing I did with my Mercy Tierra kits. It wasn't a layout. Basically, it was when I was playing around with the mixed media. Um, what I did was I made a couple bookmarks. Um, I was playing around with the mixed media add-on. There were three watercolor tags, and I started playing around with it. Actually, I'm going to look for it right now. Here it is. I've kept it in a little baggie. You can see I kind of stamped on it and painted and I didn't like the results, but I didn't want to waste them. So what I did was I started punching them out with punches and then I decided to create bookmarks for it. So I'm not a mixed media person, but every once in a while I definitely like to play in it. And even here, if you look closely at these tags, there is watercolors on them along with texture paste. That was something I had done last summer. Again, kind of playing around with mixed media. I'm not a mixed media person, but I do save my mixed media mistakes and I really quite like the results. So this is basically a combo of two mixed media mistakes. Also, this little wooden harsh with tassel was in the dream big kit so I use that and I will be using those as my bookmarks. So now what I'm going to do is take this off my table and show you the next segment of layouts. The next six pages I created with a scrapbook and cards today a let's create together class kit for March 2024. So here's the card that came in the kit. The class was for three pages. There was an additional bonus page. I ended up creating the three pages that were part of the class. I added my own bonus page and then I created another double page spread with the leftovers and I still have leftovers. So this was for a double page spread that was part of the class. If you did this, you may notice a few differences. However, I did stick pretty close to the page design. I think I changed up the positioning of this yellow cardstock, and I just have fewer embellishing than what was on the class page. But this was really fun. And by the way, this class kit was mostly made up of material from the Simple Stories Fresh Air collection, along with, once again, the American Crafts Rainbow Avenue collection. So I did incorporate a bit of the leftovers from my Mercy Tierra kit onto this page as well, just because they coordinated really, really well, including these alphas here. Those were in the Mercy Tierra kit, along with these little felt bows. So that was fun. That was a double page spread. I really loved doing that. And using that bright yellow really pushed me outside of my comfort zone. That's me feeding stray cats in Jamaica. The next page I'm going to show you was a single page layout as part of that class. Now mine definitely looks different than what we did in the class. I more or less used the same design. It was a single page layout with a frame and a diagonal design. The original layout in the class had a printed paper on front. It was actually this checkered paper here that you see in my frame of the foundation and in these two frames. I replaced that with some off-white cardstock. Also in the kit there was a floral paper there. I decided to use that on my background and I changed up the pattern paper for the frames. But essentially the class was definitely my jumping off point. The class had two triangles here. I did not put that. I'm a bit of a pattern paper wimp and I need a lot of white space. So I used the class as my jumping off point and then I just kind of went on my own basically. And here's the page I created to coordinate with it, which is something 
I frequently do a very simple line of photos, one embellishment cluster strategically placed to form a visual triangle across the two pages. So again, this is all material from the class kit. I think the only thing I brought in was this little tiny strip of pink paper from Simple Stories that I had in my stash. Now, I still had material left over. I actually still have material left over, but with the leftovers, I created a double page spread. So this is kind of a classic double page spread for me, where I create a mat that spans across the two pages. Then I create a shelf and place my photos on top of it. So yeah, what I included from my own stash was the off-white cardstock and the green cardstock, but the rest, all of this pattern paper and the embellishments, that all came from the class kit. So yes, that is it for my layouts. Now, obviously, I have more layouts to show you. All of the pages I created for my mini series power scrapping, and that's going to come sometime in April. So here are the still shots. Tomorrow I will be back on YouTube with my scrappy kit and plans for April, and I'll be back the following day as well with the Mercy Tiara kit unboxing for Adventure Awaits. That's the name of the new April release. I hope you enjoyed this layout share. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, Scrapbooking Quebec, I would be thrilled and honored if you did. And if you are a subscriber, thank you very, very much. Again, I'll be back tomorrow on YouTube. Have a great day and hopefully I'll see you then. Bye-bye.